Hello and welcome to my new video, how to draw a train in one point perspective step by step. The first step is to draw the horizon and then a dot or vanishing point on the left hand side of your page. Next draw two lines from the vanishing point to the right hand corner of your page. Then from these two lines draw a rectangle that is higher than the horizon. From the left hand corner of this rectangle, draw a line to your vanishing point. Now draw another rectangle with each of its corners on one of the four lines that go to this vanishing point. Now we have a transparent cuboid in one point perspective. All the lines of the train will fit into this cuboid and follow its perspective. The next stage is to draw the shape of your train. This will be a drawing of a modern high speed train. The front of this train will be symmetrical so that it needs to be the same on both sides of its middle line of symmetry. I think it helps to think of this when looking at how the curve of the front train will be. I sketch the windows, front lights and start to add some of the details. All the details for the lines and curves of the basic shape of this train. This is an electric train so I draw the power lines in the sky and I also add more rail lines to the ground too. Next I raise some of the cuboid as I no longer need it. And start to add some of the details onto my sketch. At this stage I want to add some of the shapes that wrap around the train, on the train. So the markings, the paint markings and the windows and try and tighten up some of the sketchy marks that I made at the earliest stage of this drawing. I define the shapes along the length of the carriage and draw some lines to represent the different carriages as they go away and get nearer towards the vanishing point. I then add some more rail lines on the ground to make it seem busier and also to give the illusion of the train moving faster towards us. And start to darken some of the lines that I have. Next I extend the rail lines so they're not just all in one place. And then I decide to use a ruler because I want to really make this train look like it's coming forward so I want the lines to be really hard and sharp to create that sense of illusion of space coming towards us. So I use the ruler on the rail lines on the ground but also on the electric cables in the sky so it creates a sort of abstract effect as well within the drawing. I straighten up my freehand horizon that we did at the very beginning and now we're starting to get a sense of the train coming towards us from the vanishing point. This drawing is using a 4B pencil so far on a grey piece of paper. It is now time to add some colour with some felt tip pen. I use a red, blue and a black felt tip pen. To finish this drawing I add some graded mid-tone using my 4B pencil. I add some white pastel for a few highlights so that the train looks metallic. I add a colour to the ground and also a colour to the sky. And then to finish I add some more white pastel to make the background lighter and to add a sense of movement to the overall picture. I hope you like this drawing and I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Circle Line Art School if you'd like many more art videos.